So um, we're going to go ahead and cover what an if statement is. Okay, so in terms of C, the most simple if statement that we can really have that kind of is meaningful. So the most simple if statement we can have that's kind of meaningful is that, you know, we have our int main. Okay, so we have a main function. We have open parentheses. We have closed parentheses. The main function we have right here is of type int. It could be of anything, including void, which would return nothing. This is of type int. It returns zero. Okay. Notice the return line has a uh, a semicolon on it. Okay. That's every every line uh, that doesn't have a curly brace has to have a semicolon seam. Okay. We define an integer. Okay. So we have int. Okay, so we have int bytes. Uh, so that is uh, an integer. Uh, the name of that integer is bytes, and it equals zero. Okay, so now we have the if statement, right? So we have the keyword if, we have a parentheses, open and close parentheses. Okay, and we have a bytes is greater than zero. Okay, so that's our condition, right? Now the condition's a Boolean expression. It's either gonna be true or false. In this case, it's gonna be false because bytes is equal to zero and we're testing whether bytes is greater than zero. So that's gonna come back false, okay? Okay, so we have the if statement is the keyword if, a condition inside of parentheses, and then a code block that's defined by open and closed curly braces. Now, if you have a one-line code block, you don't necessarily have to have the curly braces, but we're going to put them in all the time, okay? The one line of code inside the if statement is puts no match in this case, okay? It could be anything, or it could be any line of code. In this, in this if statement, puts is just going to print out to the console, okay? So puts is the name of the function that we're calling. We're sending it a parameter inside of the parentheses, so puts, open, close parentheses, and then inside we're sending a string which we could turn into a character array because it's C. But anyway, so it's inside double quotes, it says no match, right? At the end is a, a, a um, semicolon, okay? So that is the basic if statement. The function of the if statement is to essentially skip code, okay? To skip code at its basic level, okay? If the condition is true, it runs the code. If the condition is false, if the condition is false, then it skips the code, in this case, line six, and would just continue on line eight and then get to line nine, which says return, okay? Now, let's say that we want kind of an either or situation. So let's say that we want an else, okay? So an else means that we have a default case, okay? So if we have an else here, then basically the if statement doesn't just skip code. In fact, it's going to run either the if or the else, okay? If the if condition is false, then it runs the else code. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna put in puts and we're gonna put in match, okay? So if the condition is false, it's no match, okay? Prints no match. Else, that's the default condition, okay, does match. So in this case, when this code runs, no matter what, maybe match.
All right, so that's the if else.